I've painted very few abstracts when I was young. Not until I became a father did I really explore the realm of the subconscious mind. Something within me needed to be expressed to temper the tempest of emotions that came with that kind of experience. The techniques that I developed at the time were inspired by the spontaneity of making art with my two instinctively creative toddlers. The chance to see the world through their perspective allowed me to rediscover the sensation of color, texture, lines and shapes. Sometimes I'll start by painting over an old piece that hasn't synthesized. I usually apply several layers. With this one, I'm using acrylic paint so it dries pretty fast, so I have to work pretty fast if I want to blend the layers. Sometimes I've had a painting completely transform overnight because of the rain. There's a psychological transformation that happens when I paint abstracts. It's like being a dance partner with nature. And if I can just surrender to it, then I can hear the whispers of Mother Earth. When this happens, I become a conduit of the etheric field. It, it's like uh, I'm just transcribing the field in a pre-linguistic expression of consciousness. I usually paint these outside, on the ground, closer to Mother Earth, accompanied by the wind, the falling leaves, any creature who wants to make their mark on the canvas. I welcome whatever happens in this space. It's an invitation to a dance. It's a spiritual and psychological transformation. That's the only way I know how to describe it. Kandinsky once said, the soul is a piano. Color is the keyboard, the artist is the hand that plays, and his eyes are the harmonies causing vibrations in the soul. <laughs> 